They come from all corners of India, devoted pilgrims on their way to Shirdi, a town where a revered Indian guru Sai Baba lived. Legend has it he was a man who performed miracles to help the poor. Almost 100 years after his death, Shirdi boasts of a modern day miracle. I'm literally in the middle of the world's largest solar cooking system. These 73 solar dishes capture energy from the sun and use it to cook food for 100,000 pilgrims who visit this temple daily. The panels raise the temperature of water to up to 650 degrees Celsius, generating steam, which is used to cook food. It's the brainchild of Deepak and Shirin Gadia, who worked on the design in Germany before bringing the technology back home. But we soon realized that what India did was appropriate technology, not high technology. In India's case, that means taking advantage of its geography and climate. We are blessed with sun. India is one of the few countries in the world where there is no word like good morning because we take our sun for granted. Uh, we are blessed that uh, we have, uh, like in North and West India, we have about three to 330 sunny days. And in South India, we have got 250 sunny days. The result is a far cry from a traditional Indian kitchen that uses gas, kerosene or firewood. It's so much cleaner now, says this chef, who's been cooking at the temple kitchen for 15 years, are like the solar cookers. 50% of the world population, not only of India, cooks with open fire. But here, there's no soot, no smoke, no trees cut down for wood, no carbon dioxide emitted by burning fuel. There are financial benefits too. From the housewife who uses a one-pot solar cooker to this, the world's largest system, there's less money spent on cooking oil. In Shirdi, the cooks save hundreds of kilograms of oil every day. That's a monthly saving of almost $7,000. Eventually, it's down to economics. Malika Kapoor, Shirdi, Western India.